In the following video, I'll answer for you the January 2008 question 5 vectors question. Another vectors question, just so we see all the types that come up. Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, it was question 5 and it was 8 marks. It says, here are the vector equations of two lines. Remember vector equations. A point on the line plus uh, a multiple of the direction of the line. A point on the line plus a multiple of the direction of the line. This here is the direction of this line and this is the direction of that line. If you want to prove the two lines are perpendicular, you want to show that the dot product or scalar product of their directions is zero. So just to make my life easier, I'm going to say that let A for part one, I'm going to define A to be equal to 3i minus 4j plus 2k. It just makes everything easier in my, in my notation later. And I'm going to let b be defined to be equal to 2i at minus 1j minus 5k. OK? And if they're perpendicular, then a dot b will be 0. So let's work out what a dot b is going to equal. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4, and 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. Okay, 6 plus 4 minus 10 is 0. Okay, and then you can say, uh, you can say lines are perpendicular, lines perpendicular because their direction vectors A and B have or are such that A dot B is equal to zero. Okay, that is a definition of perpendicular. Uh, the vectors A and B are zero. The direction vectors of these two lines, when you take the scalar product, you get zero. Hence, the two lines are perpendicular. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next part. I'm just going to rub out what we did previously. Okay, and it says that prove that these two lines are skew. Now, for something, for two lines to be skew, I'll state the conditions for them to be skew. Two lines are what's called skew if the following two hold, if, and you need both these conditions to hold, they do not intersect. They do not meet or intersect. They share no point where, uh, of common commonality. They, are no, they have no point that is the same. And the second thing that must be true if the two lines are skew is that they are not parallel. Okay, so they must not uh, intersect and they must not be parallel. Okay, now when we're doing part two, you can already say that uh, the lines are not parallel, are they? They can't be parallel. And why is that? Well, because they're perpendicular. They can't be both perpendicular and parallel. The lines are not parallel as they are perpendicular by part one. Okay, so you've already shown uh, this part of the statement. And now you've got to show that the lines do not intersect. Okay, the way I do these is I take the two equations of the line I try to make them equal each other, and I show that they cannot be consistent. The equations that come out of making them equal each other cannot be consistent. To do this, I like writing the vector equation in a slightly neater form. I'm going to call this line L1, and I'm going to call this line L2. With regards to L1, a neater way of writing that equation for me. 5i plus 3s, so 5 plus 3s. Minus 2 
minus 4s, minus 2, minus 4s, lots of j, and minus 2k's, uh, plus 2s k's, so minus 2 plus 2s. That's a neater way of writing line L1. Let's do the same with L2. 2i's plus 2t's, so 2 plus 2t, lots of i. Minus 2 minus a t, minus 2 minus t, lots of j, and 7 lots of k minus 5t five lots, five lots of k, so 7 minus 5t, lots of k. They are neater ways of writing those two lines. OK, now, uh, if these two lines did uh, meet, if they did intersect, I've got to show that they don't intersect. But if they did, that would equal that, the i would equal that i, that j would equal that j, and that k would equal that k. I'm going to let that happen and show you that those equations uh, can't work out like that. They cannot consistently work out like that. So let's write down uh, what I can from this. If they met, if me, then we would have 5 plus 3s would equal 2 plus 2t. Okay, that would be equation 1. We would also have minus 2 plus, apologies, minus 2 minus 4s would equal minus 2 minus t. Okay, and we would also have minus 2 plus 2s would equal 7 minus 5t, 7 minus 5t. Okay, I've got three equations, okay, uh, with two unknowns. I'm going to try and solve these equations and show that they're not consistent with each other. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by multiplying that equation by 2, okay? And I'm going to get minus 4 plus 4s is equal to 14 minus 10t. And I'm going to call that equation 4, okay? And I'm going to put a line by that to say that, that this was equation 3, but I've doubled it. Now, if I add equation 2 and 4, it eliminates the s, which is good news. So I'm going to take equation 2 and I'm going to add equation 4. Minus 2 plus minus 4 is minus 6. Minus 4s plus 4s is 0. Minus 2 plus 14 is 12. Okay, and minus t plus uh, 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 minus uh, 10t is minus 11t. Okay, so solving for t then, uh, I would subtract uh, 12 from both sides and then divide by minus 11. I would get that t would be equal to 18 over 11. t would be equal to 18 over 11. Okay, now at this point, I have used equations 2. Uh, 3 and 4. So I've used 2, 3 and 4 effectively. Now, using one of those equations, 2, 3 and 4, I should find what s is. So, I'm going to find what s is by substituting t into either 2, 3 or 4. Okay? So, trying to find what s is. Maybe use this one here. Okay? 7, take away 5 lots of t. So, 7, take away 5 lots of 18 over 11. Okay, and then add 2 and then divide by 2. And that would give me that s at the same time if t was 18 over 11, s would be 9 over 22. Right? So now in theory we've solved for s and t. However, we have never used equation 1 so far and if these lines were all equal to each other, having found this s and t that make these two equations equal, this s and t must make this equation work as well. And let's see if it does. 5 plus 3s would be 5 plus 3 lots of 9 over 22. Okay, and you work that out, and you get 
uh, 6 and 5 over 22. But on the other side, 2 plus 2t would equal 2 plus 2 lots of 18 over 11. which is 5 and 3 over 11. And you can say that because these two equations are not the same, uh, equations are inconsistent. Inconsistent. Okay, and therefore, just to end, therefore, L1 and L2 do not intersect. You already know that they're perpendicular so they're not parallel so therefore L1, L2 are skew. Okay and I hope you found that useful in your revision for core 4.